Porsche 911 GTR3 RS, everything you need to know. The brand new Porsche 911 GTR3 RS is essentially a race car right now. Welcome to Porsche's newest attempt at a race car for the road, complete with downforce, DRS, and plans for crushing lap times. For today's video, we will be talking about the Porsche 911 GTR3 RS, everything you need to know. Interested to know what this car is? Just keep on watching. Who is Porsche and when did it begin manufacturing cars? If you write online car reviews or leave comments on online car reviews, Porsche is a pretty irritable company. You see, Porsche is a business that almost never makes a mistake. Its vehicles are dependably outstanding to the point where stories of its drivers showing up in automotive magazines with a glove box full of cash are nearly as ancient as the business. Speaking of which, Porsche started producing automobiles in 1948 when the first examples of the 356 received road certification. The first example is pictured above part next to the fully electric Mission E concept. However, the company's histories go far further back. Ferdinand Porsche, the company's founder, produced his first automobile, known as the P1, in 1898. And he established the Stuttgart branch of his engineering firm in 1931. Given that Porsche was founded in Germany, the interval between 1931 and 1948, it is probably considered to be good if Porsche fitted its 4.0 liter 517 bhp flat 6 to a mobile library. Consequently, the vehicle it is powering almost immediately loses track of an engine that powerful and magnificent. However, a careful examination of the new 911 GTR3 RS from the 992 generation is not really necessary to understand its purpose. You can tell something about a machine is important when the individuals who are preparing a press release feel obligated to add their company's $194,300 sports automobile is ruled legal. The GT3 RS is heavy inspiration from Porsche Le Mans class winning 911 RSR and 911 GT3 R customer race vehicle shouldn't come as a surprise nor should its production of 409 kilograms of downforce at 124 miles per hour and 860 kilograms of an aero derived chunk at 177 miles per hour if you can look at the sheer quantity size and prominence of wings diffusers and fins without thinking that must stick like a puppy crap on a plush toy. You probably don't find aerodynamics or even scatological similes to be that amusing. Equally simple to square upstairs is the top speed of 184 miles per hour and the knot to 64 times and the knot to 62 times in 3.2 seconds. You won't be moving around like a mule if you have a 517 bhp pushing 1450 kg through a quick shifting, 7 speed PDK gearbox and anything resembling acceptable traction. However, that's where the numerical soup of seriously speedy equipment will sneak up on you. This car has 3 times as much downforce as the current 911 GT3 and twice as much as the old GT3 RS. And even the Porsche Flat 6 won't be able to carry that kind of drag without some assistance to just shy of the metric triple tone. But the new GT3 RS is so focused on moto sport that it even has a drag reduction system similar to what is used in Formula 1. The system is quite similar to that of F1. If you look closely, you can see the servos on the uprights of the rear wing, ready and eager to switch from full slip stream to maximum downforce at the touch of a button. Additionally, that rear wing will function as an air brake during emergency braking at high speeds, according to Bugatti Veyron et al. This raises the possibility that a truck driver in the future may be reliant on air brakes that fail to operate as a result of pedal braking that is too cautious. You'll need a pharmacy supply of damn brave TM tablets before you spontaneously straighten out a corner since the GT3 RS standard fit brakes are whopping 408mm up front and 380mm at the rear, vice gripped by 6 and 4 pot calipers respectively. If you decide that's still too big of a risk for you to take, Porsche also provides ceramic brakes with an additional 2mm in the front and 10mm in the back. 
Additionally, there is something to be said for slamming on the brakes hard at each brake marker and allowing the powerful disc, ABS, and air brake to work together. Finesse is wonderful, but we've generally had success with brute force. The rollover bar is an addition to the RS long-standing free club sport kit. However, you'll need to find another tenth of a cent for the six-point harness and fire extinguisher. Of course, this is still a Porsche, so you can spend a fortune. Other orifices are available. On forged magnesium wheels to save another 8 kilograms and a carbon fiber rollover brace to shed another 6. For us, it seems like a bit of a mental leap that someone who has the money to spend on a GT3 RS would select the free Go Racing Club Sport kit rather than going all out. So, what can you say about the Porsche 911 GT3 RS? Please let me know by leaving a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, please press the like button, turn on the notification bell, and subscribe to MIA Luxury Cars for more videos like this. Thank you for stopping by to watch. See you in our next video. Bye!